Jake Boyd here at Guarantee Supercenters in Junction City. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about this Jayco Hummingbird 17RB. Some of the features that kind of set it apart from what it is actually, it's kind of direct response to an R-Pod, which with that teardrop shape and a little bit of a retro kind of a look. Uh, it's got a slimmer profile, as you can tell, it's seven feet wide, uh, and it's still actually a very short trailer, and it's very lightweight. It's about 3,000 pounds for, uh, for towing. Start off here, we have the, the power tongue jack, super easy up and down off your ball hitch. Uh, and right here, um, we have the, uh, it's wired for solar. So if you need to add any solar panels, or you had any kind of function you want to add to it, and then it's a great way to do that. You have quite a bit of storage here as well. It doesn't scrimp on the storage, even with actually the, uh, the short, the short uh, space uh, floor plan and the low profile. And in the back, there's actually a little bit of storage here too. And don't let the site, this fool you a little bit. It actually goes quite a ways up. So you can put um, things that, um, like uh, break down a fishing rod and put it in there and it fits, it fits really well. As you notice, it's a, this is a Baja edition, so it actually has the bigger tires, a little bit higher lifted, a little more off-road capacity to actually get where you're wanting to go with something like this as well. So I'm just gonna step inside and, and show you some of the features of this guy. To make really great use of this space, it's one continuous space. Um, you have your east-west bed in the front, a lot of windows um, that open and get a good cross breeze through. Um, and right underneath that is a, a, gr a great deal of storage as well. That storage also goes behind here. You have your dinette right, right next to it, and that can actually be converted into a bed as well. You just take the peg out, rest on the braces, and fill in those spaces with the, um, with the cushions. You have your television and an articulating arm, and that's actually set up with your Furion system for a DVD CD player, uh, your indoor outdoor speakers on that as well. And with the Hummingbird, you got a decent amount of storage too. All across here, and kind of the, the appointments and kind of the hardware that's in there are really nice. Everything that's trimmed out over here is actually on a little bit of a slide out, so you're gaining quite a bit of space actually, even though it's actually it's still a slim profile. You have your, your sink, your two burner stove, your convection microwave, and your refrigerator here as well. Below that, right next to it, a ton of storage to make sure, kind of some really smart design options here. Uh, make sure you have uh, all your gear at hand here. You have your, your coat hooks, and one of the things that, uh, that Jayco does, they always provide a, um, a kind of an indoor-outdor utility table uh, for, for a lot of your gear, just to offer a little more versatility so you can actually make, make as much use of the outdoor space as you do the indoor space. <laughs> so you have your dry bath inside, inside the Hummingbird, uh, which is a little bit interesting because it being a, the response to an R-Pod, R-Pods generally have wet baths and hummingbirds, they make, try to make use of the space so you can actually have a dry, uh, dry bath. You have your sink in here, which is really nice. A lot of actually smaller trails, trailers don't have a sink in the bathroom. And then you have actually a pretty large uh, medicine cabinet here as well. If you have any more questions about uh, the hummingbird, uh, feel free to uh, give me a call. My name is Jake or stop by uh, Junction City and we can have a look at her.